Hey subscribers and watchers, what's up? It's me, Waves from Slidner here. In this video, let me talk about dynamic method dispatch in polymorphism and show you guys something out here. So here in NetBeans, there's a class animal and there's a class human that extends animal, which means that human is a specialized version of an animal. So inside this, if you go to our main method and start creating objects, you'd say animal A equals new animal. To create an object of a human, you would say human edge is new human, which is the basic object creation process that you guys have been seeing all the time. Now inside the animal class, forget the variables and stuff. Let me add a method saying public void move. Inside this, let me put a system dot out dot print and then statement saying moving animal from one place to another. All right, so at this point, things are done. Now I'm gonna go at the top inside our main method. I'm gonna call this method. I can say a, which is the animal object dot move. But remember, I can also say edge dot move. And the reason I can do that is since this method public void move is defined inside the animal super class, the class human extends animal. A copy of that method is available inside the human class as well, which is the subclass. Therefore. The super class object can call move, the subclass object can call also call move. At this point you run this by saying control S shift F6. You would notice that both of them say moving animal from one place to another, moving animal from one place to another. Now like I said, the method is copied blindly from the super class to the subclass human. What if you want to change that? What if you want to affect the method inside the subclass. So what you want to do is I can want to declare the method again by saying public void move. This time, let's say you had you take the system dot out dot print and then statement here, and you say moving human from one place to another, something like that. Now if you run this by saying shift F6, take a look what happens. Moving animal from one place to another. This is the superclass A dot move over here. Then when you say edge dot move, which is the subclass move. You call moving human from one place to another over here. So does this mean that this new defined new move method has completely changed this method over here? No, not really. Inside the human class, what you have is both the move methods available to you. Now you can call the super method over here by saying super dot move. So when you say super dot move, it means call this definition or say moving animal from one place to another otherwise it will simply say moving human from one place to another so let me remove the a dot move at the top here now take a careful look there's animal a is new animal human edge is new human and edge dot move is nothing but human object dot move run this by saying shift f6 and you can see both the statements because what happens in this case we say edge dot move it's gonna go inside class human it's gonna find a move methods definition over here but then from here it's gonna call super dot move which means it's gonna run this method first this statement will be executed which you see over here and then the second statement will be executed which you see over here this is how method overriding works the word this use is called overriding it means redefining something which has already been defined so if I remove the super dot move now what you're trying to do when you're defining the same move method inside the subclass is that you're redefining the code inside this method move which was already written here inside the super class. So this is what method overriding is all about. Now dynamic method dispatch as the name suggests is just one step more than what we just did. Now take a careful look over here. I say animal a equals to new animal and then I say a dot move which move is gonna be called it's gonna be obviously this move defined inside the super class I'll say control s shift f6 and as you can see moving animal from one place to another now let's say I go down and I say animal a equals to new human now notice very carefully I have done our weird stuff that we have been doing for the last two three videos there's a super class reference variable on the left which is actually pointing to a subclass object on the right side so now if i say a dot move if i run this by saying control s shift f6 as you notice it says moving human from one place to another so what does this mean it means that 
it doesn't depend on the type of the variable on the left hand side. The move method is defined in both the sub subclass and the superclass. But depending on the object that has been assigned on the right hand side, the appropriate move method is called. In other words, since it was a human object contained inside the animal reference variable, the move method from the human class is called when you say a dot move, and that is why it says moving human from one place to another. But if animal A was new animal instead, what would happen is an animal version of the move method would be called from here inside the animal class when you say a dot move. So this is what dynamic method dispatch means. It means it does not matter what the variable is. What matters is what is the actual object on the right hand side and depending on what it is, the method will be called from the appropriate class over here. That's what dynamic method dispatch or polymorphism is. Now obviously at this point, you guys are not so clear about why is this necessary and what is actually happening. Let's take a better look at this with some presentations and figure out exactly what is going on. So polymorphism is the ability to treat objects with differences in behavior in a uniform way. Now this lets you write programs that process objects that share the same superclass. Now again, reading these statements is not going to make things clear for you. These are just the definitions out there which have been put up just to make you guys understand exactly what is the formal stuff behind polymorphism. So dynamic method dispatch. Now remember, whenever the compiler sees a method being called through a variable, the compiler first determines if the method can be called by checking the variable's class type. If the class contains the proper method or inherits one, the call is compiled. At runtime, when the program is gonna run, the type of the object to which the variable refers determines the actual method to use. The method to be called is always determined by the type of the actual object, not the type of the variable. Now let's take a look at that. Now let me make you understand this in a better way. So here, if I go back and if I change this to human, at compile time, what is going to happen is the compiler is going to check this statement which says animal A and then it's going to check this A dot move. It's going to ask, does the class animal have a method move over here? Yes, it is. So there is no compile time error. At runtime, it's going to check the value of this animal A, which is actually new human. In other words, a reference variable points to an object of class human. So inside the class human, whatever the method move is existent, that is going to be run when you say a dot move. And that is why you would see the statement that says moving human from one place to another. So remember, it's not the type of the variable that determines which method is going to be called. It's rather the object that's going to be contained inside the reference variable a, which is going to determine which of these two methods it's going to be run. That's why it's called dynamic method dispatch. Now obviously you guys are wondering why would you use this in a situation in your programming. So let me talk about that in the next video with the help of a simple example. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.